UFC fans have seen plenty of new names in the octagon lately. One of those is VeChain, which made history when it became the very first ever layer one blockchain partner of the UFC. Since 2018, VeChain's low carbon blockchain has been enabling people to build Web3 solutions with a focus on sustainability. We're here at the UFC Apex, which is essentially my office when I'm here in Las Vegas. And today we're gonna go on an exclusive behind the scenes tour with an influential member of the VeChain community, Brian Hoover. I'm gonna show him my world and he's gonna explain to me what Web3 is, what VeChain is, and help me understand what blockchain technology is. What's up, VFAM? Isaac right here. We're on our way to the Apex and we're gonna talk blockchain with Laura Sanko. Let's do it. Hello. Hi, I'm Laura. Laura, I'm Brian. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for coming. Of course. I'm just going to go get touched up real quick and then I'll show you around. Sounds great. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Nice. This is where I start my day. So I come in here and she puts my war paint on and then, um, I don't know, I spend a few minutes going over stats and notes and just kind of getting my mind in the zone to go hopefully deliver some smart thoughts. <laughs> All right. So. This is it. This is the Apex Studio, and this is where we do the, the weigh-in show, the pre-show, the post-show. So I'm in here a lot. There's usually a desk, but uh, yeah, this is, I spend a lot of my time in the studio. Very cool. So this is the second PI. You know, you've got all of the racks. You've got some tires to hit. Welcome to Control Room A. So this is the, the brains of the operation. Uh, honestly, I don't really know what most of this equipment does, but I do know how to do one thing. Watch this, it's pretty cool, actually. There you are. There I am. All right, now it's time for me to interview you. I'm gonna need you to explain these things in a very simplistic way, so I wanna start at the beginning. What is blockchain? Blockchain is just a technology that was developed in 1991 as a way to store information in a safe and tamper-proof way. Data is stored in blocks, and these are all attached to each other in a certain row. So how does cryptocurrency use blockchain? Yeah, cryptocurrency is just digital money. Blockchain is the fundamental technology behind cryptocurrencies. So it's a way to prevent fraud and forgeries, and it also allows um, cryptocurrencies to move value across the networks. I'm getting that older blockchain technologies have a more detrimental impact on the environment, but help me understand why that is. Some of these legacy projects use as much energy as an entire country. A so country? The, yes. Did you say country? <laughs> yes. So oh VeChain's technology uses proof of authority. It's much more green, it's much more sustainable, better for everyone. So tell me if I'm getting this right. Older blockchain technology is like my diesel farm truck and VeChain is my new electric car. Is that, yes. Does that make exactly. sense? Okay, good, it. I nailed it, all right. So what's VeChain's focus on blockchain technology? There's so many things that you can build on blockchain. There's metaverse projects, there's DeFi. What's DeFi? Decentralized <laughs> finance. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so there's a lot. There's play to earn games. There's all these different things that you can build on the network. VeChain is kind of an everything chain. Basically, if you can dream it, you can build it on VeChain. I love that. You can kind of think of it like a VeChain is a shopping mall and all the different projects on VeChain are the stores. VeChain has partnerships with enterprise clients. They're building revolutionary supply chains. Hospitals can build their own cutting edge medical applications. And even entire countries like San Marino in Europe, they're working with VeChain on a sustainable ecosystem. So how can MMA fighters potentially utilize blockchain technology? There's a lot of different ways that UFC fighters could use it. Uh, one is wearable technologies, IoT. What's IoT? <laughs> IoT means Internet of Things. It's, it's a technology that allows fighters to track key metrics like their heart rate, their sleep, all of these different aspects. They have control of that data and they can use it to perform better. What is the mission of VeChain? I think the mission can be summed up in a phrase called Go Sustainability. And essentially what that means is they're driving the mass adoption of blockchain technology and they're trying to use that towards sustainable projects with their partners all around the world. VeChain kind of sees itself like the UFC. It's an organization that started out very humble and now it's uh, turning into a global force on its own. So VeChain's fighting to shape the future of sustainability and a partner like UFC is really part of that fight. So I saw the phrase, win the decade, 
not the day on your Twitter profile. So obviously that means a lot to you. Uh, why did you put that phrase there? The way I see it is that you should always be looking at the big picture and don't get discouraged by setbacks because they are gonna happen. For UFC fighters, I know and they know that there's no shortcuts to success. Yeah. Whether it's training, watching tape about their opponents, eating clean, all these things come together on fight night and give them the best chance to win. All right, so we saved the best for last. This right here is the most important moment. You ready? And three, two, one, walk, 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 walk! All right, Brian, this is what we train for. Let's go check it out, check out the vibe. Wow. What do you think? It's amazing. I think he could be a fighter.